Python dictionary is going to have the key that we passed in. So revenue growth in this case happened to be that key. Could have been anything that we were looking for. Could have been a more traditional kind of named entity. It could have been a date or an address or some other piece of information that we we're looking for. Could have been another an amount or value. Could have been a category like companies or universities or nonprofits. Could have been any number of things that we were looking for. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. We are gonna dive right into some code. What you see up on the screen, we're gonna be looking at some earnings releases. This is something that you see, these are financial earnings releases that come from companies. These are the types of news stories that appear on CNBC. We went out, we just clipped a bunch of them. And for anyone that's ever had to do financial analysis, I think one of our dreams has always been, what if the AI could just go through and extract the key points for me out of this very dense material that has a lot of technical terms, it has lots and lots of numbers, it has lots of things that are easy to get confused, it has the actual revenue, it has you know expectations from analysts, it has a lot of profit metrics associated with it, share price metrics, lots of different comparisons. So what we've put together, we've put together a list of 16 different just clippings, some recent kind of press releases and news stories that we found. You can see different companies, different industries, different formats and structures to them, but all of them typically convey that kind of key financial information. Revenue, profit, share price, analyst expectations, some commentary from senior executives. So this is the source material that we wanted to look at. And what we wanted to do is we actually wanted to test a brand new model that we've rolled out in our Slim family called Slim Extract. The point of Extract is something that a lot of people have asked for across our community, which is a function calling model that you can pass a custom key. I'll tell you, I'll tell the model what key I want and then go out and extract from the text a list of items that correspond to that custom key. So that's exactly what we're gonna do here so we thought this would be an interesting test of how effective the model is because this is actually fairly dense material to work through and where we're actually looking for precision. We need the correct answers. If the numbers aren't right, then the analysis ultimately isn't that useful for us. So just wanted you to see, you know, so I've been talking, hopefully you've been eyeballing the text. It's anywhere from maybe two or 300 tokens at the short end up to several hundred tokens at the long end. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna iterate through this loop of all of these financial earning statements. Now the code itself is actually super simple. Couldn't be simpler than this. We are gonna load the Slim Extract tool. This is a three billion parameter function calling small specialized model that we built to do this type of custom extraction work. It is an underlying LLM. You know, it's a 3 billion-ish uh, parameter model. It's been 4-bit quantized, packaged in GGUF, and we're going to be running this locally just on a CPU. So you're going to see both the speed and the accuracy of something that we're going to be able to run locally. And what we're going to do, we're going to run through this loop. We're just going to iterate through every single one of those earnings releases. Once we've loaded the model, we're going to make a function call on the model. We're going to pass in that context passage, which is the passage that we looked at for each of those earnings statements. The function that we're going to run is an extract function. And here the custom parameter, the key payoff here, we want to look for revenue growth. Ultimately, that's what we care about, right? It's an investor. We want to find revenue growth. We want to find companies that are growing revenues, and we want to be able to quickly extract this information from all of these statements. Finally, then for each loop, we're just going to go print out the response. Let's go ahead and let's run this example. And so here we go. Models loaded. It's off and running. Again, everything is running locally. What we're actually showing is the response that we got from the LLM. The response, it is a function calling model. The response that it's going to give is a Python dictionary. Each Python dictionary is going to have the key that we passed in. So revenue growth in this case happened to be that key. Could have been anything that we were looking for. Could have been a more traditional kind of named entity. It could have been a date or an address or some other piece of information that we we're looking for. Could have been another an amount or value. Could have been a category like companies or universities or nonprofits. Could have been any number of things that we were looking for. So there's that custom key. And then the value associated with that custom key is put in a Python list, a Python list generally of one element, but it could be more than one element, that actually is the value that was extracted or derived from that text associated with this custom key. Now we've been clicking through this, you've probably been looking, all the answers are coming out really nicely. Short net 
accurate information that shows that the model had a pretty good understanding of what we were looking for in terms of revenue growth. All this is running locally and the inference is happening at a reasonable speed. We're gonna be done in just a second and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna spend a second or two and just look at some of these results. All right, there we go, how cool is that? So I actually went through and I know I know you'll have to trust me a little bit, but we're gonna put all this data out so you can, you can go to our site, you can go compare it, and you can go run the analysis as well. There's one tiny little error here, but otherwise every single thing in terms of the revenue estimate is actually accurate. When you go back and you read the press release, that is the number actually that was found in that statement. Now, the one that worried me a little bit was this one because I said, where is that? Was it something that the model couldn't find? Now, I would always rather that the model comes back with an empty list or saying that it couldn't find something than to make something up or to pick the wrong element. In fact, this is one of the hardest things with any kind of extraction model or any kind of retrieval augmented generation when you're running a common question over a loop like this is the models do have tendencies to sometimes fill in the gaps or to make something up if it can't find it. So I actually went back to that. I'm gonna show that, that one sample on the screen and it is right here, it's Porsche. Now I had to read this a few times. I'm like, where is the revenue? Actually, it doesn't mention revenue. It mentions earnings, it mentions profit, it expects the operating return on sales. Uh, but when you actually look at that, the margins, the share price, it doesn't mention revenue growth. So I actually thought this was the best validation actually that our model here was actually doing what we wanted and that it came up with a null result, an accurate null result. Even though it had all those other numbers and related concepts, it came back and told us that we couldn't find it in this sample. So here we go, in about three minutes running locally, free, no transaction charges, no complicated prompts that we had to create. We have a set of 16 Python dictionaries corresponding to each one of these samples with a really nice distillation then of key indicators of the revenue growth expected for that company. So we hope that you've enjoyed this. Check out the Slim Extract and Slim Extract Tool. It's part of the growing collection of Slim models that we're developing. Check it out on LLMware. There's example code and tutorials on how to use them, as well as a whole bunch of things that we're doing around logit analysis and how you get you know, confidence levels derived in conjunction with this, as well as all the usual fact-checking tools. Come join us on Discord. Bring questions, ideas, thoughts, new things that you want to see out of this model. One of the things we really believe is powerful about this Slim Extract model is it's really easy to fine tune. So if there's a particular domain, a particular industry, or a particular key that you're looking for, even if it's something really, really esoteric, we think this gives you a tremendous base of a model, it can be easily fine tuned then to be targeted in a selected domain. So hope you've enjoyed today's example.